Hello and welcome to Crack the Movie. Today, what would you do if you were on the Titanic? So, say you're a rich, handsome man. You have proposed to this beautiful lady and she has said yes. You know it's basically because of your money, but for some reason you don't really care. And you take her on the first trip of the Titanic. Once on board, it becomes really clear that she wants nothing from you except for your money. You find her in shady circumstances with this cute boy from third class. Then, first chance she gets, she leaves you and goes to hook up with him, making sure everybody on board sees them making out. Like everybody, as if she was on a mission to make sure everybody knows you're being cheated on. With a poor but really handsome boy from third class. And that's how things are when the Titanic hits an iceberg and starts to sink. There's not enough room for everybody in the lifeboats, but you've managed to secure a spot for her and her mother. She decides to leave it and go after the cute little boy, and she says to you, I'd rather be his whore than your wife. So just a while later, you find another spot for her, in another boat. She takes it just so this man can't go on the boat with his wife and kids. Then she jumps back into the Titanic, because, well, that's how she is. And now your time has come. You've made your way into another boat. You've got one spot, one single spot, on the last lifeboat of the Titanic. And you have to decide if you jump in and save your life, or if you go back and try to save the beach. I mean, your bride to be. What would you do? Remember that you have only known her for a week or two, and in that time she has cheated on you with the first cute boy she found, in a spectacularly public fashion. In fact, she made a big effort to make sure that you knew exactly what was going on. Remember that she was already on a boat just a while ago, and she gave it up because she wanted to be with this guy. There's a place for you in the last boat, and you can take it and save your life, or you can run for the lady once again. What would you do? No matter who you ask, everybody's gonna tell you that this guy is the bad guy in this movie. And he's leaving his spot in the lifeboat to go save the beach. Bad guy risking his life for her. And you, what would you do? No point in asking me, because I've seen the movie and I already know that this lady will ruin the life of any man standing next to her. Goes bankrupt and kills himself after she keeps the huge diamond, dies in the water after finding a big piece of wood that could have saved him, ends his career because she decided to throw the big diamond into the sea instead of sharing it with the world. I mean, can't go with his wife and kids, then the lady jumps back into the Titanic. Amazing. 